Hello, welcome to another Baking Out of the Wilder Ranch cookbook. I'm going to wait a few minutes for people to join, join on. Um, today we're going to be baking lemon prints, so this is going to be a fun one and will be a bit of a mystery to me on how it comes out. So as we wait for a few more people to tune in, um, I did want to just give a few updates about the status for Wilder Ranch State Park and how you can visit the park safely. Um, currently, the uh, park is open, but with some restrictions. So you, um, they have opened up limited parking in the parking lot, um, but it, there's space in between individual uh, parking spots to keep safety and keep our numbers lower for overall visitation. Um, so you can park there and um, the trails are open. Now today it's raining a little bit and as usual backcountry trails tend to close after rains to prevent erosion um, and keep our trails good for uh, all uses, mountain biking, horses, running, hiking in the summer. Um, but you can check out the other the coastal trails any day and it's very likely that the backcountry trails will open very soon if they're not open right now just because it's a pretty light rain. Um, the other restriction is on beaches. So uh, beaches are closed between the hours of 11 and 5 p.m. And um, so that's recreating on any beach with the exception of accessing the water for, for water activities. So that's uh, the update. And then of course, as usual, you wanna be um, practicing your best um, safety measures to prevent any spread of disease or virus. So that's you know, wearing a mask at all times, bringing hand sanitizer, not traveling in big groups and keeping that six foot distance. And you can check out all of those those uh, regulations and uh, guidelines on the state parks website. So, all right, now um, take you to where we are right now. And once again, this is the third week that um, I am live broadcasting to you from the house, the meter house. This is built in 1859. And I am in the kitchen right now. It's a Gothic revival style home. And that is the original wood burning stove back there. Um, and today we're using the less original gas powered stove. So this one is not working right now. Um, and so, as I said, this building comes from 1859, but we know that the people, there have been people who have been living on this land, stewarding this land for many, many thousands of years before that. And I want to take this moment to give a quick land acknowledgement to those people, indigenous people that have lived here, um, stewarded this land, taken care of it, and built a relationship between people and nature. And to acknowledge that they continue to be active stewards of our land and be active participants in how we preserve this land and protect it for future generations. So if you'd like to learn more about some of those contemporary efforts, you can go check out the Amamutsun Tribal Band and you can check out their website. I highly recommend that. Okay, so uh, let's get into baking. Today we are uh, baking lemon prints. And uh, lemon prints are something I chose because I've never heard of them. Now, you know what I do when I usually, when I haven't heard of something, is I'll Google it. And I tried Googling this one and I could just not find anything. Now. Maybe you are more skilled with your Google search than I am, and I encourage you to go take a look on maybe on Google Images or some old recipe books or something to find what a lemon print looks like, because I have not been able to figure that one out, um, which is why why don't we just figure it out for ourselves? So what do you do when you when Google doesn't give you an answer? You gotta actually figure it out ourselves. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, so today's recipe is lemon prints. All right, there we go. Um, once again, this is out of the Wild Ranch cookbook, the one that is um, typically available in our store uh, when it is open, and is a compilation of recipes that would have been baked at Wilder Ranch, and this is from 1870 to, to 1920s. 
compiled by some of our wonderful docents who um, are active bakers and do wood stove baking out at the ranch. Um, so since this one's a bit of a mystery, it's gonna, how it turns out and what it looks like is gonna be unknown to me. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the um, directions and allow you to kind of create a mental image in your head of what you think this should look like. And then we can kind of use that to see well, kind of level our expectations once it actually comes out of the oven. So this is a very simple recipe. It just calls for butter, sugar, egg yolk, um, grated lemon peel, flour, baking powder, and salt. So all things that are, should be pretty easy to find um, and nothing too complicated. The directions say to beat the butter and sugar until fluffy, beat in egg yolk and lemon peel, stir in flour with baking powder and salt, roll do dough in small three quarter inch balls, place on ungreased baking sheet and flatten with fork. Bake at 375 for 15 minutes and cool on wire rack. So this, uh, you know, not much guidelines there um, and that will be um, available. This should be posted on the, the Wilder Ranch State Park uh, Facebook page. So you, if you want to look at that yourself. Um, but let's go ahead and jump in. And so, you know, the, I did put together one batch of the dough. I threw that in the oven right before I hit start on here, so 15 minutes ago about. So we'll get a look at what they, they come out with, the finished product. Um, but that's as far as I've done ever with this recipe, so I don't know what they'll look like when they come out of the oven. All right, so um, let's jump right in. And let me just bring this a bit closer. So that's going to be a stick and a half of butter. Let me just grab that. Okay. All right. So one and one half sticks of butter, eight ounces or six ounces that would be. they don't make dairy out here anymore so I've been downgraded to Costco butter There's nothing wrong with that but I don't know if it would be up to the standards of the Wilders okay so there are six ounces of butter and then and then that says to mix in the sugar which it calls for <coughs> three quarters of a cup. Okay. All right. And then it says to beat butter and egg, butter and sugar until fluffy. So I'm gonna do that. Now, um, with this recipe, you know, as uh, it's been kind of a theme throughout these different cooking live streams from Wilder, that talking about this idea of kind of tuning back into how the Wilders would have had to deal with scarcity shortages and relating that a little bit to our lives today when we're in this situation where, you know, baking has become this big fad and because it's something you can actually do, and it's become increasingly difficult to get some of the standard, just basic baking ingredients, something as simple as flour. So for today's ingredients, I wanted to throw out just a couple of like my recommended um, alternatives. So for butter, um, in this case, I would say you'd also want to use a solid fat and coconut oil would probably be your best alternative. Um, for sugar, you know, it's calls for white sugar, but you could use brown sugar or if you had maybe agave or um, agave syrup would probably be your next best option. 
And uh, for the lemon, um, you could try it with a lime. It would be a different, whole different vibe, but it would be quite good. And as far as the uh, flour, and that could, that's kind of a tricky one, but there are flour alternatives out there. And that could be whole wheat flour, that could be you know, different uh, buckwheat flour, almond flour, whatever you can get your hands on should work. And if you don't have baking powder, you can use baking soda. Okay, so I've got this all mixed up. And then it adds, says now to stir in, to beat in egg yolk and lemon peel. Okay, so egg yolk. Now, I am not particularly skilled at this, but I'll go over kind of the idea of how you would separate an egg yolk uh, from the egg white. And I'm going to try not to mess it up, but that's why I've got my backup egg if I need to. So uh, the process here, and there are a number of ways you can do this, but this is a simple way. And what I'm going to do is try and break the egg equally in half. Um, and, um, and with that, I'm going to basically pour out the yolk, or sorry, pour out the egg white into one cup, and then um, try and get all that out while keeping the egg yolk in the shell. So I'm going to try and crack it as close as I can to the middle so I can get two distinct shells. And I mostly achieved that. So now I'm going to let the egg white run out. And then the next step is to go back and forth with these two egg shells. So from one, and then back into the other. And as you do that, the egg white is going to kind of separate out. And you don't need to do it. There we go. That's pretty much separated out. And then I can just go straight into the mix here. Okay. And then the uh, next thing we're going to be adding is the lemon peel. Um, and this is one that gave me a bit of a challenge this morning. Um, so I did get this prepped up. I'll give you a little bit of a look um, how that is there. But that's one tablespoon of um, zested lemon. And so... That can be done if you have like a microplane, um, maybe a sharp um, cheese grater. I tried it with a cheese grater and did not have much success. Ended up just taking a sharp knife, peeling the outer edge without getting to the white part there because that's going to make it bitter. So just that outer edge and then chopping up as finely as I can to kind of replicate the idea of that, what you would get from like grating it. Um, so that gets thrown in. mix together. And the next part is to the last three ingredients, which is flour, um, baking powder, and salt. Okay. So we've got flour here. And that is the other cookie. So we're going to take a brief intermission from our cookies. And Pull these out of the oven. cookies. They've got the print of a fork, so uh, I guess mission accomplished, I'm going to say. I don't know. Let's see how the taste test goes later. Okay, so we we're almost done with uh, our recipe. Uh, so the last things to do was going to be to mix in the flour. two cups. Okay. And 
the baking powder. Just gonna call for one half of a teaspoon. Finally, a quarter teaspoon of salt. Right. Very good. All right, so we're just going to mix that together. Um, To me, and it seems like a it's a bit uh, heavy on the flour, and that's what I experienced from the first round of it. It doesn't really bind together particularly well. So, if you were to try this at home, maybe trying um, just maybe I would say increasing the uh, or maybe decreasing the amount of flour. Maybe instead of two cups, maybe uh, a cup and three quarters. This is going to take just a minute. I wasn't going to do this because I feel like this is where people will tune out, but I do have a bad joke related to today's recipe. And the question I have for you is why was the lemon feeling depressed? I'm going to give you a minute if anyone wants to try and answer that one. While I finish mixing this lemon print dough up. Not seeing anything yet, okay. It will buy me just one more minute to finish this. Okay, the answer to why the lemon was feeling depressed? It's lost all of its zest. There you go. And we still have the same number of viewers. All right. So this is mixed up, and the next thing to do is to be putting it onto our, it says, ungreased baking tray. So I've got my ungreased baking tray here, and the recipe says to take three quarter inch balls, Place them on to the cookie tray, and then um, you're going to press them down with a fork. Now, from uh, I will say from the last time I made this, which was about an hour ago for the first batch of the dough, um, these ones do a lot better. They bind together a lot more. And I did uh, go a little bit lower on the amount of flour. Not much, but uh, a little bit under two cups. So I would say for this recipe with that one egg yolk, um, and that amount of sugar and everything, maybe um, one and three quarters of a cup of flour is going to do you just right. That could also depend on the size of your egg. Once again, we are here at Wild Ranch where we've got an active farm animal program. We've got our wonderful farm animal volunteers, and they are, uh, they've been collecting eggs for the purpose of the show and setting them aside for me. So I'm lucky to have farm fresh eggs but they're not always the exact same size, maybe, that you would get at the store. So if you've got a jumbo egg, that might kind of change things a little bit. So, you don't have to do all of them. I'm just going to show you a few, about a quarter of an inch. And then the last step was to press down with a fork. And I imagine this is the, the print part of the lemon print. So, we can go ahead and do that. We're just going to press down. That's going to kind of flatten them out and also create a little bit of a design in there. And, uh, you an idea of what they look like. I expect these ones will come out looking a little better than the last batch. Um, 
So then they just go in for 15 minutes, and uh, that's all to this recipe. So thanks for uh, tuning in once again as we explore our way through the Wilder Ranch cookbook. Um, you can join us again next week. We'll be baking once again. And you can also, if you'd like, join us at 3 p.m. We're going to be taking a little look inside of the historic um, garage that was built by the Wilders to house the very first um, gasoline-powered automobile in Santa Cruz. So uh, thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you in another Wilder Ranch live stream again soon.